the youth are ready enough for the games with a direct cast for August for the Youth Commonwealth Games. One, I want to say that uh, we are glad to be here for this uh, youth uh, camp organized by NOC. Uh, NOC has been uh, a great partner for hockey and uh, with this kind of training it has a great impact on the players that we have on the field. These are players who have been taken from uh, diverse backgrounds. Most of the players have never been in this camp before. We have two or three who have been here before. And we thank NOC for organizing such a camp because we know through this then the players will develop their skills. We have 12 players in camp. We have one-on-one -on -one training with them. We believe that we shall make them better players. Already, they have, most of them have the basics in the game. We need to develop them to be reach the level of uh, international levels where they can compete at that particular level as international players. So this camp plays a major role because having these players here for about two weeks will then sharpen their skills that they've already learned in school. And probably, even when they go back to school, they'll be able to impact uh, heavily on the other students who are back in school because then they will teach them. I feel very nice being here because we are being impacted with skills that will help us in the future. Okay, um, the skills we are going to get here will be very important because when we go back to, back to school, we're going to tell our friends who didn't make it to be here, we're going to teach them what we have been taught here and it will be very important to, to us, it will help us in the future. Okay, like my ambition in playing hockey is to get to the senior team and represent my country very well and win just like the other countries, just be the champions. Okay, hockey, first of all what inspired me is that in our school some people are getting scholarships and then I, I saw that, hey, I can even do this, let me try. Even though there were some challenges from people telling me that it is very hard, I might get injured, but I just tried. Let's get uh, to some football action and Madara United secure the first points of the current FKFPL campaign when they held post Rangers to a one-all draw in midweek action at the Kasarani Annex. The Slam Boys came into this match off the back of three consecutive defeats, the most recent a defeat to Sofa Paka and were keen to ensure a repeat does not happen. He did some good work of switching play and in most cases we got uh, uh, the Madara defense off guard. So I think... Uh, those are two points lost. Yeah. Of course, uh, when you approach a game, you approach to get three points. There is nobody who goes there to approach a game uh, with a different uh, mentality. But the most important thing is that uh, we work on our undoing. That's, uh, that's, that's key. Yeah. I don't think we are struggling for consistency because uh, if I might, uh, uh, we, we've lost two, two matches. And I think... Uh, uh, being uh, the fifth month here, I don't think uh, players will get uh, what you want them to get uh, overnight. So it's a process and a gradual one, but the most important thing is the uh, finishing uh, part of it. So uh, I don't think we are inconsistent in any way. Because their first three matches to Kotumezi lose, but Leo to Kotunai Waki are defending, that Nil cannot believe Leo to Nezapata something. You can the past games to mecheza to mepata goals but sasa ku prevent to sifungwe that kwa tunafanya but leo nilikuwa nikijua we first we defend and then you can get something but kiangalia strategy yetu from the last game to leo ime work superb tilikuwa tuende na counter na ukiangalia bao tumefunga tumeenda na hiyo counter so to me i think my boys wa do a very good job Kulinga na games za kwanza, first kitu ya kwanza, unajua hizo games za tatu za kwanza. Sia tukua tuwefanya pre-season, tumepata ligi kwa inaendelea. Already kuna cheza first game na timi na cheza game number four. So kulikuwa na hiyo match fit. From uh, the Football Kenya Federation Premier League, let's move to FKF NSL and Shabana move to the top uh, of the National Super League after an emphatic 5-0 win over visiting Mwatate United in a midweek clash at Goosey Stadium. Shabana, Lip Rogue, there are all Blackstar's brother to the summit of the league. <laughs> Nashukuru sana leo ijakuwa ni 1-0 imekuwa ni kumuongeza idadi ya mabao zile siufunga ime ni plus kwetu um, last previous match tulikuwa away tukashinda so na feel tuko tuna tunaelekea direction kwa kusu, kusu nyabuto ni, ni player wetu hapa Joel alikuwa ameenda ipi but ni player wetu anajua nini tunataka ni mwepesi pale mbele last match pia alitufungia kwa hivyo ni, ni ni striker mwenye 
mkizubwa kidogo ana ana anafunga lakini sasa tulimrudisha kwa sababu tunajua uwezo ile ako nayo so nampongeza sana pia na tamuhimiza azidi kufunga zaidi kwa sababu last season pia nao alikuwa na mabao mengi ndio aliongoza kwa timu yetu mbona kwa table ama kitu muhimu kwangu ni tu, vile tunacheza na tuna concede na tunafunga nadhani hiyo ndio kitu muhimu kwa sababu sasa bado ni mapema sana hata table hata mimi sinaja kuangalia lakini naangalia timu yangu tuna vile tunacheza kila siku kuna mabadiliko kuna hope kuna uzuri ule unaonekana hiyo nadhani ndio now members of county football associations are crying foul saying they were left out when fifa and kafa delegation visited the country the members say they wanted to give their views to fifa as the stakeholders of football in the country county football association categorically state that the fkf national executive committee is an illegal entity having been disbanded by dint of gazette notice 12374 of 12th November 2021 and further upheld in the constitutional petition number E473 of 2021 therefore any deliberation and resolution emanating from a meeting with an illegal entity is null and void we reject Total, in total, any resolution arrived thereon for lack of legitimacy and wider participation of key stakeholders in the Kenyan football ecosystem. FIFA hao ambao walikuja, walikuwa wamekuja ili kuweza kusuluhisha mgogoro ambao ulikuwa nchini. Mgogoro huu ambao ulikuwa umesababisha Football Kenya Federation iweze ikakuwa suspended na nchi ya Kenya iweze kuwa suspended na FIFA. Lakini tume lakini tumegadhabishwa sababu FIFA walipokuja hawakuchukua maoni ya washikadau wote. Hawakuchukua maoni ya washikadau ambao wanaendesha mpira katika jamhuri hii. Walichukua tu maoni ya federation maoni ya NEC members ambao tunajua hawako kwa ofisi vihalali Kenya now has 25 more coaches at a CAFA B level the coaches who are to wait for one year to complete the course after it was disrupted by Kenya's FIFA suspension finally sat for the exams and completed the training a big opportunity for me because I, they call me last one in the class because I'm the youngest. Na nashukuru sana Federation kwa this opportunity because nimeanza hii course nikiwa high school, CAF D, CAF C 2019, now CAF B and I'm 25 years old. Imagine for the next for the next 10 years how nitakuwa level gani. Na hiyo imekuwa possible na Federation transparency yao na pia ku support ala makocho wa grassroots kwa ku dedicate na kwenda classes na tunataka waendelee hivyo na pia ngaje ala my young coaches wako huko nje wacha kufata mambo negativity these classes ni transparency those those coaches who they are passionate want to attend the class hakuna ubaguzi that's why i said back then that this um, see, sports that i've learned here is going to be of a, a lot of benefits and i think i'll ask um, the schools to really think about you know training someone really sports just sports not just a, a teacher who is who will who will go to maybe do let's uh, now move uh, to the carabao cup and Manch uh, southampton stand manchester city to book a place in the semi-finals of uh, the english league cup uh, 